So this is a topic that I received a lot of comments and questions about uh, over the years and I never got around to making a video about how I go about buying a handpan. Um, and I guess a lot of people watching these tutorials that I do are interested in buying their first handpan or, uh, or just received their first one recently. Uh, but there's a method that I have which, which uh, allowed me to, to get handpans um, fairly successfully. Although currently I have three instruments, but uh, I think I've had a total of maybe eight or nine uh, that I have had, and some of them didn't work out, so I sold them or swapped them. So this is my uh, method of how to choose the handpan that you like. First will be the question of the scale, which I think is most important. And um, for that, I recommend you watch uh, a lot of videos, either songs or just people introducing their handpan. For example, this is a Sunpan uh, F, uh, which is uh, actually my first handpan that I had. Um, and then if you watch the video, you listen to the mood, you listen to, to how it makes you feel, and, uh, and then you identify what, what handpan that is in the song. Uh, or it's in the video title, or you can check in the comments, someone will ask this inevitably, and you can then say, okay, I like this. Uh, sometimes they'll have the exact notes there as well. Uh, or you can look this up on the maker's website if they have one. But usually if someone's introducing a handpan, they will ideally go through all the notes that it has. Uh, so this is seven plus one uh, notes. Um, so they would go through this like, Listening to this, it gives you a feel for for the the, the mood of the instrument. Now, there's a, and there's a lot of other notes that may be interesting to you, like the shoulder tone. The overtones, stuff like this. Um, to this if you say okay this is the scale I like uh, some scales are only available from certain makers like this one I don't think anyone else makes this plus the sunpan itself is a very unique sounding instrument uh, which makes it really stand out not just in terms of its shape if you look at it because it's quite flat compared to the other hand pans um, it is also seven plus one which is rare and um, and also just the material I think it's made of is, is also quite unique. That's why it has this very unique sound. Um, there is also, there's also a factor of if it's a right or left-handed scale. Now I think most people make their stock right-handed, um, but if you have, if you're buying secondhand, for example, it can happen that they are a left-handed because it was made custom. Now what does that mean? That means if you're going through the notes uh, progressively, and you're starting with your right hand on the lowest note, you will be alternating right, left, right, left, right, left, right, to go through the scale. Um, so if it's a right-handed, or at least that's how I think about it, it means you start with your right hand because usually you're gonna be leading with your right, right hand. So this is right-handed because you go right, right, left, right, left, right, left. If it was left-handed, you would have to start with the lowest note on your left hand and then go up but you hear that's not correct. So that's how it's ergonomical for you if you're right-handed. Um, so yeah, I figured I would introduce my hand pans. So as I said, this is the uh, sun pan. Uh, I think they only have two scales as far as I know. Um, I'll be putting all these links and information in the, uh, in the description um, to the makers as well. Uh, next one that I had, which is one of my favorites, it's a Celtic Minor in D by a company called Dave's Island Instruments. Uh, it's also called the Sunset Scale that they have. Uh, and this is eight plus one notes. This also has a very unique shoulder tone that I like. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, so this is uh, an instrument that I like to play a lot of Daniel Vapel's covers on because he has a similar setup. Um, and uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. Obviously, that's why I kept it. Uh, and then the third instrument, which I got recently, um, it's by a, a Hungarian manufacturer called Mag Instruments. This is a Kurd 9, a very popular scale. And, uh, and it's actually, they've come to create very high quality instruments that I think really is similar now to, to the top makers that you may hear of. So this is also, it's a very neutral scale, for example, which means it has a lot of applications that you can use it for. Now, uh, I've owned very unique and specific scales in the past, um, like an Akebono or a Hijaz. Now these I found to be very limiting. So after a couple of weeks of playing with it, I wasn't able to progress in always making new music, just sitting down and doing stuff with it. So, so that's why I ended up not moving forward with those. Um, I would say don't consider don't concern yourself too much with if it's a D or a C or whatever if you're not going to be playing with other people um, if, if it's just you playing alone I don't think that's really the main factor that you have to look at it's really the the progression and the notes and the feeling of the whole thing which is what makes it interesting and usually you're, they're gonna be across makers the same uh, name brand uh, the same name scale like a hijaz will be made by several makers but it's going to give you roughly the same feel and I think it contains more or less the same notes. Then the next thing, you're, what you're gonna decide is how much you can spend uh, on the instrument. Um, generally, you're going to probably spend 1500 to $2,000 on a mid-range uh, handpan. Um, if it's your first handpan, you may say, okay, I'm gonna look for something cheaper uh, and you can, uh, it's gonna be good to experiment on. So here's the thing about price. If it's significantly lower than $1,000, then it's probably too good to be true or it's not gonna sound good. Um, really, the decent sounding ones start at $1,000 uh, and then you get into the normal range in $1,500, $2,000, that's your normal price range really that you wanna look at to, so that you can enjoy what you're doing. Uh, because it's not going to sound anywhere near as good as in the videos that you probably watched over and over again and that's why you fell in love with this whole thing. So prepare yourself for that. Um, if the scale that you want, you can look around among the various makers websites uh, and you can see if they even have it in stock, which is ideal, and then you don't have to wait for it. That's going to be rare, I think. Uh, although more and more uh, in recent times, uh, they do have stock available because there's more and more makers entering the market. Um, if that doesn't work, then there's uh, resources to get them secondhand, uh, which you can uh, in various places. I'll get this to get to this later. Um, so there's your, your top tiers like Ayasha, Shiraz, Meraki. Uh, these are the better known uh, makers, let's say. Uh, I'll talk about Hong. Uh, the pen art hong a little bit as well. Um, you can also, with the makers, you, sometimes you can just enter a, a lottery or you can enter uh, a, the waiting list and they will let you know when they get around to making one for you and then you can just say which scale you want because obviously they, they prefer to just make the ones that uh, they can sell right away. So you may have to send a deposit, maybe half uh, half of the amount and then you pay for the other half when they uh, delivered it um, Be sure to you know do some research make sure it's a legitimate uh, make sure it's a legitimate uh, maker uh, And not some random person far away claiming they can make something good. So let me get back to the Hong uh, the pen art Hong which is the original uh, hand pen that everyone uh, learned about usually and grew to love uh, the thing is, uh, firstly, they're hugely expensive now, uh, probably three to four thousand dollars. 
uh, and their quality, I would say, has already been surpassed by some of the top makers uh, because of how technology and other things have advanced. So really, if you want a hong, it's just for, um, I guess, for sentimental value or really as like an investment, maybe. It really has um, significance in terms of historical significance in that sense. But I bought a hong, which was an Akabono scale, because, and I bought this on eBay, I thought I would love it no matter what because it's a hong, so I didn't care what scale it was, and um, I ended up not liking it, so I couldn't move forward with it, um, so it was quite frustrating, so then I ended up selling it, I think it was for the same amount uh, that I bought it for, so I didn't lose any money on it, but with this, especially if you're doing it on eBay, it's, uh, it is... I would say it's a bit, um, it's not something that you want to be doing too often. Maybe if you know someone personally and then you can try it and listen to it for yourself and then maybe have someone who's a bit more knowledgeable to confirm like, yes, this is valid and it's in tune. And uh, if you look inside, it's going to have a serial number uh, with I think a signature as well. So make sure that if you're gonna spend this amount of money, there's someone with you like buying a car because the price of a car pretty much that you have someone who can validate it for you um, make sure it's not damaged or or whatever but in all I wouldn't recommend the hong because there's the easier ways and cheaper ways to get the same or even better sound nowadays so as I said what to watch out for um, anything under a thousand dollars it's going to be too good to be true uh, they may send a video uh, or they have a video posted on their page or their whatever eBay um, but who's to say that's the instrument you're going to get so there's, there's a problem uh, right away uh, I would say do not buy from Aliexpress well I would definitely say do not buy from Aliexpress because a lot of two three hundred dollar hand pans there and I get a lot of questions like this uh, don't do it because they're mass-produced and and to, to get to the level of, of making something this good uh, you need craftsmen you can't just stamp this out of a piece of metal it's, it's not something that easy that can be mass produced. Um, do, I would say do not buy from eBay. It's even better because there's maybe some, some pan art hongs flying around um, and some no-name brands as well. But uh, again, don't do it. Buy it from the community, buy it from the maker. Now, where is the community? The community, um, there's first of all, there's a, uh, a handpan.org which has a forum, which has a lot of good information and uh, some secondhand uh, exchange as well. So people post their, their used stuff for sale. Um, there's also a Facebook group for swapping and selling hand pans. Uh, swapping is quite popular uh, for some reason uh, because roughly these instruments are pretty much plus or minus $100 euros. Uh, they're in the same value. Uh, so so it really is i could swap i think these are all pretty much the equivalent value that i just showed you these three instruments so i could have swapped either of them for another one uh, now the people in this group are going to be most likely safe to trade with you can check their page see if they have other friends from the community um, and uh, and yeah and that's that's pretty simple because you just uh first of all yeah if you're shipping you're going to need a, a good case. I'll actually be making a video about how to package uh, a hand pan safely because I've shipped shipped a lot of them already and received a lot of them. So I've seen some good uh, techniques, but you're going to need an Evatech uh, case uh, by a company called Hard Case Technologies. It's run by a guy called Alessio. He's a pretty cool, pretty nice guy. And they make a kick-ass product. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have seen it one of these um, and I've actually I've actually had to check this in once uh, and it arrived safely and everything was okay although I was a bit nervous uh, it's not recommended that you check it in they have a separate uh, check-in case as far as I know but this uh, semi soft uh, case that they have it can survive a, a check-in as well but for uh, just walking around, driving it around, carrying it around, you should have one of these unless it's sitting in your home safely. Um, and uh, also what not to do, do not confuse a hand pan with a tongue drum or what's very frequently seen now is the rav drum, which 
The difference is between a tongue drum, which are, they're very cheap. They're like a tenth of the price. And the reason that, that is, is because uh, it looks the same roughly, except the tone fields, they're not hammered to a certain shape. As, let me see if the light hits this properly. So instead of having a, a, a tone field like this, what they do is they actually cut out uh, metal from let's say three sides of this and then at one point it's connected so it's actually a tongue that's vibrating when you hit it you will notice because it'll sound nice but the volume is much lower because there's the it's just this little piece of metal that's going to be vibrating and creating that sound these can sound cool they're not going to be loud enough for you to do uh, street music for example it needs to be very quiet to to enjoy this uh, it can be a good starter for you if you really don't want to invest uh, thousands of dollars uh, and you'll get roughly the same experience at least when it comes to like your actual technique and what you're doing but uh, but it's not going to be the same thing they're also called tank drums which are even smaller I think those look quite different but but there are tongue drums that are sold uh, and can be confused uh, with handpans so so don't confuse that yeah so I mentioned handpan.org Facebook group swap and sale for handpan only I think it's what it's called um, friends friends of friends if you know people in the community who are involved in uh, anything related to this the best way is to get referred by someone that's actually how I got my first handpan because back then six years ago uh, it was really impossible to get one unless you knew someone who had one and someone was actually selling their uh, sun pan. If you're lucky enough, there might be a store near you where you can buy one. It's going to be rare. I think there's, I don't know how many there are. There's actually one store in, in Budapest here, for example, where I live that actually has a few mag instruments, these guys in stock, and you can actually go and, and play with it. And also there's handpan gatherings all across Europe and United States and Asia and everywhere where you can go and try them out, listen to them, talk to people, get to know people. Uh, those are great fun. Um, there's, it's usually happening in the summertime, obviously. There's one here in Budapest called the Hog Festival. It started uh, last year in 2019 and they're going to be repeating it from now on. And there's one in Greece, there's Germany, UK, uh, US, several locations. So that's, that's the best place to, um, to really get involved in this and, and check it out. If you have any questions uh, or, or anything to, to add, please write it in the comments. Um, I think I tried to be as thorough as possible with, with my method. So let's just recap. So first of all, choose your scale, watch a lot of YouTube videos, then uh, when you found the scale that you like then look around for firstly new ones uh, preferably in stock with the makers you can get on the list if it's not a hurry for you get on their waiting list wait for their lottery to come around or check out the secondhand market from reliable sources like uh, forums and the facebook groups um, friends people that that may have one for sale and um, and yeah, make sure also when you're getting it shipped, uh, make sure you get a, a receipt about it. Uh, hopefully the person packing it was uh, considerate enough to, to make the necessary precautions. Although I've never had this issue and I don't, haven't heard anyone who had like a serious uh, injury to their the handpan that they received. So thank God for that. Um, Thank you for uh, watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, take care.